The logic is on the mic. What's going on? I would really like a soundboard so I could hop on this. Oh. I'll be real. I don't trust you with that power. Oh, my God. Uh, Noah, can we make this happen? That would be amazing. You're that already all so much louder than the last guy. I have to turn you down my headset. Bruh, all of, your boy is hype, okay? <laughs> it's loser quarters. We getting into our top five. Dengue Joe versus Siegel. And the story... You know, man, word on the street, if Thank You Joe beats Seagull Joe with Gaming Watch, man, he might be the next Meister. Maybe, because actually, Seagull Joe has never lost <laughs> a Dinger <laughs> Show. Oh, my <laughs> God. This is exactly <laughs> why you're not allowed to have a soundboard. <laughs> but Seagull Joe has actually never lost a Dinger Show. Not even once. Not even one time. Okay. I mean, I, we were talking to Dinger Joe. I was making a couple of jokes about it. Um, and I was just like, you know, you'd be better than Meister then if you win. Obviously, that's not the case. Meister, phenomenal player, top five player in the world, more than likely at this point. I would say so, um, yeah. Dr. Dings was like, yeah, man, I'll win. He was like, I can win, I will win. And I was just like, all right, let's see it. Um, right now, he does have a lead. But uh, at the end of the day, the lead isn't doesn't really matter too much, especially versus Joe because of how safe he plays. So, you know, these nares, these jabs won't really matter unless you can convert a nair to down tilt, which might kill at the ledge right now. And for what it's worth, um, like, Ding's show has shown many times that he's able to box with upper echelons of Game & Watches. He may not have the same wins, but in terms of making, like, other players sweat, there's not a player in the world who Ding's show would get, like, consistently three stock by, I would say. Consistently. That's a bold statement. Uh, Leo? Cons I Tweak? mean, Leo? Tweak would do it. I would say half the time. Okay. Ding's would probably take a stock. Hey, yo, Tweak, it we might got be a, a nice JV. money match for you right here, man. If you could three-stock him ten times in a row. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I would take that, actually. Ding's Joe's pretty nice. That is, true, that is true. Like, that is true. The top players in the world are all, like, amazing, but Ding's show can make them work a bit. I'm not saying he'll win consistently, Speaking but he can make winning, them sweat. Uh, Ding is, does have a lead right now. He's solidifying himself as the better Joe tonight. Um, we're going to find out if that lasts 118%. Still has three stocks while Seagull Joe is at 88. And you know Dengus wants that. I was about to say, he wants that down smash. He knows that is the, the way to get that early stock off of Seagull. Yeah. And, I mean, he might have shown his hand a bit there because Palatana does have the chops to not oh, get hit by a back. my but God. if you get hit by that back air off stage, you might be in some trouble as well. My man Franklin is coming back for a new season. You little young, the younger generation about to find out who this turtle is. Yeah. About to learn today. Oh, He's all grown up now, too. <laughs> He's really biting hard. Right, using those forward airs to cover his faces. Oh, Seagull Joe laid on up air right there. That would have worked. Does manage to take off the first stock of Dengue Joe with the dash tack. That's work cut out for him, but, you know, definitely doable. I feel like Seagull Joe's been playing from behind this entire day. Like, every time I see him on stream, he starts off by getting blown up for a bit. And then he manages to make it close, if not win. So this isn't new territory for him. Definitely fair enough. And, I mean, he is making those adjustments. You see the F-tilt. You just see his play shifting a bit, being significantly more safe than we saw him being earlier. And a bit more patience coming through. Good parry. And that's going to... Oh. They need to oh, change the sound dang. effect on that 8. Right. It's, 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 it's like the false finish. It scares me every single time. They're just so close to the same sound effect. Why? <laughs> he really got up and did a down smash. That's almost the equivalent of a wake-up DP from Street Fighter. Like. I'd say it's more like wake-up grab, because like wake-up DP kind of makes sense. Wake-up grab is like, why'd you do that? <laughs> why'd you do that? Well, he is making a ton of good decisions right now. Another parry. The down smash is a little slow. That's very surprising. Yeah. I believe the down smash frame five. That's, unless Gimmer was wrong. Um, I mean, considering Gimmer's track record, I would probably trust him. That's wild, though, to have a... Not just a frame five kill option, but a frame five like you're dead at 60 option. Wait, is it frame five or is it minus five? Or he said frame five. All right, I'll double it's check. But in the meantime, I yeah, this wrong. match is Pull looking. Up. Oh. Hey, yo, gamer, kick J Dog. He said you're no. I'm joking. You're gonna get up. Ooh, I'll see you, Seagull Joe. Do a little dance back up a bit, but you are at 142. You better start dancing a lot more right now. And this is uh, still best two out of three territory. So this first win is huge for whoever gets it. Yes, it is. Also, it starts on frame 12. So that man, is it minus five? Like, he, I'm about it's, to get on him. Ultimate frame data says it's like minus 16 and 15 on shield. Oh, we got to talk to my man. But if you calculate like shield drops, it, 
No? Hmm. Okay. When my man was wrong. I'm gonna go talk to him. I'm gonna go talk to him later today. Don't worry, man. We're gonna take care of this. I was at his house earlier, and that's what he told me. Gamer, I'm sorry, man. You're right about everything else. But this, apparently. Well, it's active for five frames. Maybe that's what he said. Hmm. We'll find out. We'll find out. I'll, I'll just I'll just shoot him a Facebook message and be like, yo, what'd you say about five frames in this move? And then we're then we're decide. Then we're decide. Mm. Um, right By now, the way, we were talking about that. Uh, Seal Joe did the thing I was saying earlier. Yeah, he is indeed bringing it back. He can actually win right now. Yo, the traps are set. There's no way. Yeah, I, I knew he was going to do it. I was like, there's no way Seagull's going to get hit by this bucket. Oh, no. And neither of them really wants to get grabbed right now specifically, especially Dingus Joe, because, yeah, look at that movement. Seal Joe tried to bait him to the ledge to get that kill. Yeah, I, I think Dingus' best option right now is to continue to just go for the parries because he's been so consistent about it that maybe a parry down tilt is really how you're going to win this. Possibly. Or maybe even like a nair down tilt. But, oh, oh you can't contest that. Okay. You can't contest that. Did he try to contest it or did he try to parry it? Um, let me see. In the instant replay. Yeah, he tried to parry it, but it was way too early. Mm. Yeah. It's rough in these streets. Yes, yeah, sir. One mistake. Actually, there were several mistakes. I mean, that's how he got in that position, you know? Yeah. Probably wondering how I ended up here. But you got to watch the entire movie because this is a lot of, a lot of things that went awry. Yeah, and plus there was only about a minute left on the clock. Bro, I'm not fighting at that point. Yeah, I don't think either of them saw that because I know Seal Joe. Well, actually, Seal never really had like a lead enough to do that. He had to get the kill. But Dingus might have been able to make something happen off that. Definitely may have been possible, but now he does have to unfortunately uh, win this game, but just recognize that you you had, you were up three stocks to one, did not manage to close it out. Now you're in jeopardy of your, you know, your tournament life. Absolutely. And it looks like they're locking with the same characters. I know Steel Joe is a fan of this matchup. Dingus Joe, though, I mean, he really only plays Game Watch. Yeah, that's it. I mean, he's tried a couple characters before, but Ding Game Watch is his heart, his soul. It's him, essentially. Oh, <laughs> that was a really smart by Dingus. Yeah, that was a vibe check right there. Oh, you, you charging over here? You think I'm going to just jump into it? We'll take some damage. Get off. Yep. Move away. Get away from me, sir. All right, on the ledge. As long as he holds on to the stock, he's still not in the bad position. Oh, he tried. He tried He tried to check him. Ooh, part two, though. Yo, this is the cheekiest setup, and that is why. You put up the bacon, all the pieces stop you from jumping, and if you get hit, it converts into an F-tilt. All right, now Ding Show starting to find his footing. But how much... Like, it's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. And Ding, or excuse me, Seagull Joe trying to finish it all with that back air right there. He's been easy. He definitely finished the last game, that's for damn sure. Yeah. But uh, right now, this juggle, this 73%, don't counter for no reason against your boy. Dingus is talking to him right now. And good patience right now from Seagull. But oh no, you're throwing out the area at such a predictable time and gets that parry. Another parry. And Joe, or excuse me, Seagull Joe is definitely on notice right now. Yeah. Part of the issue is the fact that Seagull keeps trying to F air at the very last second to make it safe on chill. And that makes the timing a bit easier for someone who is uh, as good as um, pairing as Dingus Joe. Yes, absolutely. Oh, that's two procs in the bucket. One more, but actually he won't be able to get any significant, like, knockback on that bucket because he'll either have to bucket a auto radical charge, which will make it do nothing, or Explosive Flame Charge, which make it do nothing. Unless you somehow manage to get just the last hit. Only the last hit, which I don't even know if it's possible. It's possible. Okay, it's possible, but probable? Hell no. The turnaround F-Tilt? And the story of the Joes has just been so back and forth. Game 1 really looked like it was Dengus. Game 2 really just looked like it was Seagull, but, you know, Dengus bit by bit bringing it back and actually worked the lead up. This is almost exactly the position that they were in last game, though. So it's never over until it's over. Dingus playing a lot better this time. He's like, look, I cannot take these risks. I understand that having a lead means absolutely nothing, and he is playing like that. 61% put on the Seagull. No parry attempt because my man Seagull is like, you know what, man, we're not hitting buttons anymore. I've learned my lesson. No, sir. I'm not touching you if you don't touch me. 
Oh, that was so close. Seagull barely escaping right there. Oh, I thought he was going to roll by and back throw. Still right. finds a back throw, but not one that's going to kill. Yeah, Dingus is, uh, you know, throwing out these rolls a lot, and my man Seagull is just starting to adjust. Might want to calm down, my guy. Watch your hands. All right. Nobody told you to put your hands over here. And now this is when it is a little more rough, I hate to say it, but Dingus Joe doesn't always have the best mental fortitude. He's really hot and cold. He's either super, like, into the zone, nothing's really going to sway him away from his game plan, or, you know, he's like, I'm really annoyed that this happened. I made this mistake and kind of lose the game right then and there. Yeah, I mean, and I feel like he gets especially tilted when he had a lead in the first place, you know? So that's not an easy pill to swallow. Well, he's swallowing some feet right now. My man Seagull has forwarded him so many damn times. You know, someone would probably... You know what? Never mind. I'm not going to make that joke. Anyway. <laughs> I knew I gave you an open. It's cool. He would make that joke. <laughs> Absolutely. All day. Yeah. All right. And I was just going to say, he's looking for this back here, knowing Still that alive. could be the game winner. Why am I feeling a dash attack? Yeah, because... I mean, you could have done it right there on that uh, down smash. Okay. But right, or you could just wait. Rinse, rinse and repeat. Why not? Oh, my man. Dang, this is like, yo.